Hi. I wanted to show you something that I learned today that um, that I'm sure a lot of you already know, but in case you don't know, I think it'd be quite useful for you to learn this today with me. Now, I learn a lot of things online, so sometimes um, I miss out on particular details. And uh, this is something that I missed out on. You know, I never learned how to use a digital caliper. Um, I've been using this thing for a long time now, and um, I think it's fan it's a fantastic tool, and it's very very helpful for a lot for a lot of different things. And I use this thing almost every day. I mean, I, I love this tool, but um, it does something <laughs> that I didn't know it could do that I just learned today, and. Um, I can't believe how many times I could I could have used this feature in the past and didn't even know that it could do it. So anyway, I'd like to share that with you. Okay, so here here's how it goes. Now, um, the end of the digital caliper here can actually be used for measurements. So, for example, if I wanted to measure the depth of the hole on this part, I can actually um, let me zero this out first. I can actually um, insert <laughs> this rod into the hole and I can press it down and I can get a measurement of about uh, 6.58 millimeters. So anyway, I know it's incredibly simple. I'm sure you already know how to do that. But you know, if I show this video to a hundred people and one guy says, oh hey, look at that then, you know, that's worth it. I'm sorry to all the other 99 people who had to watch something they already knew, but for everybody, you know, for everybody else, I'm sure it'll be quite valuable. So, anyway, I can't believe that I've been using this thing for this long and just figured this out. So, I really hope it helps somebody out there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.